So uh, this is the third exercise. Today we are going to work with this signature and it is uh, the purpose of this exercise is to construct an animation where uh, using masks uh, with three different methods, we can see three different ways of doing this. We can progressively um, show, uh, uh, uncover this uh, Walt Disney signature this is an example I choose, you can use any other. Um, just get the files if you want from um, from the um, from the canvas. So as commented, we have all this uh, on this uh, folder signature. Uh, we go to Photoshop. What we can it's it's just import uh, this uh, PNG. Okay. Just to, sh to show you exactly what we have here, and as you know, uh, PNGs are low alpha channels and also layers. And in this case, we have a layer where it's already uh, um, split the, the, the difference between background and foreground, and there is no background, and this is, you know, just black and white, just black elements, which is the signature. Okay. So we go to After Effects and we can start working with it. We import the file. Okay. So if you create a new composition, uh, instead of creating from uh, this file, I'm going to create it um, using the regular uh, the regular size, okay, 1080, 25 frames per second in this case. Okay. About the duration, I think uh, anything about. 10 seconds should be fine okay so you should be fine okay in the background i'm going to put just yes, something clear because uh, remember the this is black so this is the the way i can see that okay i'm going to rescale this just to position it uh, a little better this yeah okay if you want to use the safe margins you, you you can have them here so you can see more or less where an animation could, could be okay so you can just grid okay, grid okay all these things but you don't don't need that okay okay so um, uh, with this i'm going to start with masks <coughs> Another thing I proposed is to use this uh, paper texture. So I think it gives some kind of beautiful background. Okay. So well, depending on the resolution here, you will be able to appreciate to 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 have a look at the beautiful uh, texture that this paper is. And uh, now what you have to do, yes, is you can lock this if you want. Because you don't want to move the paper now, and then over the the layer is very important. We can start creating a mask. Okay, so you can even create a mask using polygons, but probably it's better in this case to use this kind of mask. Okay, so what I uh, what I suggested in the exercise, depending on uh, the use. Uh, you should change the mask to okay to subtract or well in this case is 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 to add. So what we are going to do is is just make this bigger, 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 bigger until it uh, shows uh, everything. Okay. So for doing that, we need to uh, activate this, and I'm going to put the feeder a little more. Okay. And that should be fine. So, how much? Well, let's see if in four seconds we can do it. Okay, so it's going to. Okay, so this could be the the end. Okay. So what is the animation? Is is just this? Okay. So what's the problem with this? It's, it's very general. So what it's going to do is just cover that, and then maybe from here uh, cover this 
okay and then from here you can go to you want to select the points at the same time you can just select control okay or yes select both of them okay and you can do something like this so yeah this yeah, might work as a fast solution especially if you do it very fast okay okay you do it very fast yeah it can it can work okay something like uh, two seconds perhaps in total remember that if you uh, sustain alt you can modify the relation between keyframes okay so so this could be okay well if you want to make parallel the movement of the uh, this uh, end of signature you might better uh, do it in different layers you can just duplicate the layer and, and use different masks but this is basically what I suggest now is use another method okay uh, well another alternative for this would be to use a mask to progressively uncover this following the uh, natural uh, writing um, direction and, and speed but that obviously is, is a lot of work so another possibility for this could be to do an auto trace okay so we are going to do one so for that we are going to delay this mask and using this thing uh, we are going to uh, use uh, this auto trace that is here on layer okay so basically in this case it's going to use the alpha channel because there is an alpha channel which is uh, obviously uh, it's this one the one that is not uh, black okay if you want to use luminance it could work as well in this case because there's a difference of luminance very clear uh, or depending on the image you are tracing it might be different okay but this should work okay so you see that it traces automatically and it creates different masks okay so what you're going to do now is to apply an effect okay so um, look for effects and presets and then we're going to apply a stroke okay generate a stroke Okay, this one. So this one, when applying to the layer, it allows you to, well, first of all, it's going to do it red. We can change it later so we can see the effect of the tracing. Okay, so uh, this works uh, in different ways. Uh, start and ending is, uh, is saying the position in relation to the distance that the mask are going to cover. So now you see that there is already one, and this is related to the zero start. Okay, so if we increase that, okay. Ah, no, sorry. This is <laughs> uh, this is just using mask one. Okay, so we select mask four. Okay, mask ten. Okay, that small one. So you see it's not very natural the way this, the masks are okay mask uh, 16 is there so what we can do is select all masks okay so it's all masks at the same time and then the we can manipulate the end so if we put zero and then if we put 100 or with the four is almost done okay so this is uh, this is how it works okay uh, in this case this the way it works it's using sequentially okay depending on the number of the masks okay if not 
you can uh, use the order of the match that you are assigning it is another option okay and uh, then now i can cover this better okay but probably uh, this uh, would be better if, if instead of this what we do is just uncover the original image okay so that way we uncover the original image okay we have to modify this so it is okay uncovering it perfectly and then it's a question of manipulating this okay and we see how is zero and then later it uncovers how can we do to uncover first nine uh, this uh, w uh, letter well, we have to identify which masks are so you select the mask it's the seven in fact you can select all of them at the same time so you know seven eight nine and ten are the mask corresponding to w So unfortunately, I don't know any way of merging images, uh, sorry, merge, merging masks. This is supposed to be this way. So what you have to do is or rename them or order them. So you, you know which masks are affected. And so you can that way control a little more this effect.